Hey guys, I'll be back for another video. Before we start, give this video a like, subscribe, share with your friends. It helps me out a lot. So we're going to be talking today about the three best exercises that are going to increase your bench press. So you probably just got your gym open up recently and that's why you're watching this and you just went to go do the bench press and you just plateaued, you got weaker and you're wondering why. Obviously it's because you haven't been to the gym for months and you probably weren't even training. I'm just gonna not bullshit you there. But there's three exercises that are going to increase it significantly that you should incorporate in your routine. And the first one is the incline bench press. This is an underrated movement for the upper chest and shoulders. This is not only going to help increase your bench press, but it's going to also help to sculpt your physique a lot better. It's gonna make the chest more square with your body. So when you incorporate this, it's actually gonna put on so much more weight onto your flat. It makes you stronger. It's just an underrated movement that I recommend most of people that will go to the gym to do. I've went up to 225 from 175 in 12 weeks. It's a good movement to practice. So once I did that, it actually put 20 pounds onto my flat bench press. It helps a lot, it's a good exercise to do, especially if you do it the right form. And that is the first exercise. The next exercise that we're gonna be discussing are Australian rows. So if you look at the anatomy of the human body when you go into a bench press, you notice in this video here that you are actually engaging your lats when you put your shoulders back on the flat bench. So when you actually are doing the form correctly, you have to put your shoulders back so you don't tear anything. So when you do that, you're actually engaging your lats. So if you do the bench press in reverse, you're doing a row. So when you strengthen the lats, it's gonna actually help make the bench press easier because you're strengthening something that's also being engaged in the movement. So doing rows is gonna increase it and you should always be doing your horizontal pulling. You shouldn't be just doing vertical pulling like pull-ups. You should be doing horizontal because it's gonna help increase your bench press as well. The last exercise that we're gonna be discussing are hip thrusters. You don't necessarily have to do this exercise. You can do things like cable pull-throughs or something that's gonna target your glutes pretty well and your hamstrings. So what is the significance of the hip thruster? Again, if we look at the anatomy of the bench press when we do it, most people engage their glutes in this movement. You're tightening and squeezing your glutes so that you can help drive the bench press up faster. It's gonna help make it not as strenuous. So when you have more explosiveness, it's going to help with the movement. So if you actually do hip thrusters, it's going to, again, engage your glutes more. So when you do go back to the flat bench, it's going to help engage your ass a lot more. So do this movement too, because it's gonna help and it's gonna increase your bench press significantly. So that's gonna have to do for the video guys. I appreciate you guys taking a look at this, share it with your friends. It's gonna help increase your flat bench significantly. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.